It's the National Football League on E. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Phillies offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield and don't underestimate his ability to think the game. And remember he's the son of a coach. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Gotta like that start. 14 yards to get him going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. A big play there for Philly. 42 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Swift is into the end zone. Touchdown for the Sometimes offense, if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. end zone Marvin Mims and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 so here are the Broncos now for their opening drive bringing them out is the 12th year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form Russell Wilson and similar to his nickname Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run not to mention an absolute winner usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. And from the 34, here's second and four. Wilson. Oh, he stays up. Flush to his right. That's caught. It's Marvin Mims. Still going. Touchdown, Broncos. Marvin Mims. 66 yards. And the Broncos are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Point, and we are tied at seven. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got a first and 10 at their own 25. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Steps away to his left. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And they work this well upfield across the 35. A big 
Play that time for the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Flushed out right. Trucks over it. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of a 40 before he's out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Hurts. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. But first down, Hurts. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Eagles are using the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Olamide Zacchaeus as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. And he'll get into the end zone. That gives his guys an eight-point lead. for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Breaks a tackle, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up for the second and three. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Escaping the pressure right. This will be caught. Judy. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where, well, who needs a halftime? Am I right? Let's resume play. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. This taken in right around the goal line. Breaks through the contact. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that. response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Oh, it's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. The throw over the middle taken in. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. I have to think a major focus at halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, when you pointed out to me at half, seems anchored that line has struggled to sustain block. Touchdown! Jerry Judy, 28 yards. And the Broncos are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Next 
action there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. And he's not going to get there. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remain down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm again, I keep coming back to, I don't like to chase a lot of points, but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind a line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Buying time to his left. Oh, wide open, complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 81 yards. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Even though he was forced from the pocket, still able to adjust, make the long throw, and it ends with a really big touchdown. Yeah, moving to his left. The key to everything when they're moving outside of the pocket, doesn't matter which side, making sure those shoulders get around and you get back square so you can get everything on the throw. We just saw there downfield. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and they're going to throw the ball. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And this is one of those gotta have it drives. You can't start much better than that. Big yardage there. And just as important, he's able to get out of bounds. And now, that changes everything. Here's a second and seven. Forced out to his left. taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now first and goal. Throwing now is Wilson. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown. And now a two-point conversion. And we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. Now Wilson eluding the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone for the moment. It's two points, but there is a flag down. So they elect to decline it. And what? Play stand, and they'll take that. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen this? And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that's complete to Brown. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Now a timeout called for by the offense. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And that one is 
is incomplete. It stops the clock now with 15 seconds remaining. Another try, second and 10 now. and a timeout with seven seconds left. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know what, an era of caught your roster this is a club that does not skimp on special teams and in these situations it pays dividends and that's great vision by the organization when the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball would you rather have a street free agent out there or a solid pro like this answer's pretty evident to me Kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spot. Fun if you want. 